Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be covering takeoff and some basic autopilot controls using the flight plan that we made in the last video. So let's get started. So first thing we're gonna wanna do before we even get moving here is we're gonna con wanna contact ATC, okay? And we're gonna wanna ask for IFR clearance. Now, they're gonna tell us take off for runway 33 and climb and maintain 12,000 feet. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here in this altitude select knob we're gonna drag this over until we are at 12,000 feet. Okay, and then we're gonna taxi over to the runway and take off. All right, so we are here holding short of runway 33, and we're just gonna do some things before I take off. So first, I'm gonna look down here and set our flaps to take off, right? And then what we're gonna do is we can do this in the air, or we can do it on the ground. So what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna take this heading knob, right? And we're going to adjust it, right? So that it intercepts with our course. And this is a rough estimate, of course. We'll get a better idea once we can actually see it. But I can see over here that this will most likely intercept with our course, right? And this is important for later on because this will let us use our nav mode and it'll actually follow our flight plan. All right, so we just got takeoff clearance here. So we're going to just go over and take off so we have our flaps set to take off we're gonna line up with the runway here so badly and then we are going to apply full power and try to stay center line now what we're gonna do is once we hit 90 knots we're going to rotate or just gently pull back on the stick and the plane will fly so here's 90 knots just gonna pull back on this and then we're gonna retract the landing gear so you can do this with the lever in the cockpit but I find it much easier to just have a shortcut on your throttle All right and as we climb up here okay we're going to retract our flaps back to normal and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on vertical speed right here right and this is gonna make the plane go up and down okay and then we're gonna go up like this and it's going to go to 2,000 feet, right? Just like that. And now, it is going to go up to, to 12,000 feet like we just said, right? Now, we're gonna make sure that our heading is gonna intercept the course right here, right? We're gonna turn on heading select and autopilot. And then, we're gonna hit nav, right? And what this is gonna do is, it is going to follow our heading until we intercept the course then it is going to turn on nav mode and follow our course. All right, so you can see here that as we get close to 12,000 feet, uh, once we get a bit closer, our vertical speed is gonna start to go down and we have successfully intercepted our course and are now following it. So now as we get close to here, our plane is gonna level off and altitude hold mode is gonna be turned on and vertical speed will be turned off. And now if if we want to increase our altitude, all we have to do is just turn this knob to the right, turn on vertical speed, and it will go to that altitude. And that's just about it. Obviously, there are a lot more advanced things you can do with the autopilot, such as the, um, such as the instrument landing system, but since we haven't gotten to a landing yet, I'll not cover that. But this is everything you need to know to get yourself off of the ground and onto a course to your destination.